Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to answer a question. Can you get a postdoc if you don't have journal papers? And like most questions in life, the answer to this is that it depends. It's of course possible to get a postdoc even if you do not have journal papers, provided you have a few good conference papers, maybe you have a research monograph, or maybe you have something else also. Now remember, this completely depends on the type of postdoc you are applying for, the field you are in, and so on. So let me try to explain this more. Now essentially, there are some fields, for example, computer science and some other fields where the tradition is to publish in conferences. And there are people who actually consider a few good conference papers in computer science to be very important and very legitimate because in these areas, things are very fast moving, things get obsolete in two to three years. And so whatever is very current is what is being published or presented in the latest conferences, for example, in machine learning and some of these fields. Now, in these fields, there is typically limited desire to convert these conference papers to journal papers. However, if you look at very old and established fields such as physics or bio or chemistry or material science or math, people there typically try to publish journal papers. They take that time, cogitate on the problem, let it marinate for a lot of time and then they essentially submit it to a journal. It may take a year or two for this paper to actually get finally published to see the light of the day. Now let's come back to the problem of postdoc. If you are applying for one of the foundation postdocs, such as the Humboldt postdoc, the Swiss national postdoc, the Marie Curie or the Fulbright and some of these famous postdocs like Banting in Canada and so on, suddenly journal publications are going to help your case because these postdocs are looking more for a very meritorious candidate and they are willing to fund you in whatever field you want to work in. So they do not care so much about your field, they care more about you. If you are able to convince somebody to host you, they are willing to fund you. So in these kind of situations, there is a lot of competition. The acceptance rate may be 30%, maybe 20%, maybe even around 15%. So what are they going to do when they have too many people applying for a few postdocs? They are going to look at the CVs, they are going to look at the reference letters and so on. At this stage of your life, they are not going to look at your CGP or the transcript. So essentially, there is going to be an element of publications which are going to come in. If you have papers in top journals, in journals with high impact factor, with a lot of RAM rec recognition, that's not only going to help you get these postdocs, but it's going to positively influence any references who you may have. So now let's look at the second type of postdocs, which are those which are being given out as ads. And these postdocs are given out by PIs when they receive a large grant. Maybe this guy got millions of dollars or euros. He has a huge project and somebody's got to do this work. So they put out an ad for postdoctoral positions. And these ads are very specific. They are very detailed in what they need. So if you have got funding on, let's say, machine learning for drug discovery, or let's say biotechnology related problems, then you need a very specific type of candidate. And in that case, you do not really care whether this person has journal papers or not. Of course, journal papers are good to have, but let's say there is a person who has three papers in a top conference and this person is applying and the papers are exactly in the field where you want the research to be done. So naturally you are going to try to hire this candidate compared to a different candidate who may have five journal papers but that guy's papers are in something else or not really related to the work you want to do. So again in these kind of situation the specificity of the problem is very important. The journal papers don't count, even conference papers may not count a lot, even if your PhD is in that area, it may be enough. So remember at the end of the day, if you are a PhD, your PhD thesis itself is your important and 
substantive document and if your PhD thesis happens to be on the problem for which this PI is soliciting a postdoc then it's very likely that you may actually get that postdoc you can always send your PhD thesis it's a PDF file so you can just mail it to this person and if this person finds that you have done a good piece of work you have referenced the right papers and so on he or she may give you a postdoc position so this was my take on do you need journal papers to get a postdoc and can you get postdoc without journal papers of course you can but you have to be selective you have to look out for people in your specialization you have to do some research here and if you target these people properly you will certainly get a high paying and good postdoc so that was my take for today i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then